Yes, a Velocopter. Uh, the wonderful, incredible thing about Digital X is Deutsche Telekom manages to shove into this event all kinds of cool, funky technology that they're involved in. I had a chance to talk to the chairman of Velocopter, and here it is. My name is Stefan Klocke. I'm the chairman of Volocopter. Volocopter is the first urban air taxi. And what brings you to this event? Uh, actually, we are starting a cooperation in various fields with Deutsche Telekom. And this thing has been in development for how long? We had the first man flight in 2011. And explain to me the relationship with DT. The relationship is basically that we are just finding out where in which fields we are going to cooperate, which is um, first of all Dronic, of course, then we are going to um, go into mobility concepts with our passengers um, and also IT concepts uh, together with Deutsche Telekom. So Deutsche Telekom is at the moment um, getting our first uh, IT partner. And how do you think DT came into this as far as their interest? Well, that was actually uh, accidentally. So Thomas Spreitzer and I met and we, after 15 minutes we had uh, 60, six fields of cooperation between Volocopter and Deutsche Telekom and then it went along. The spirit within Deutsche Telekom is at the moment very enthusiastic and uh, focused on, on future projects. And this is the only prototype or are you... No, no, no. we have, we have uh, a number of uh, prototypes. We've, last week we, we flew in Singapore, maybe you saw that event. So we introduced the first Volaport to Asia and outside the flight inside the marina. So we could show the world that we're very close to commercialization. And the company itself is based where? In Bruchsal, near Heidelberg. And there's how many people involved in this project? At the moment we're 150. Yeah. But they're all based in Germany or are they all over? Most of them are based in Germany. We have an office in Singapore right now. Um, but we are, we are based in Brussels and in Munich. Now, can you just take us just momentarily around the helicopter? Sure. No problem. Be my guest. So I'm watching the movie here and I had two questions and I'm sure you have this quest these questions all the time. I'm interested, is, is elevation of the unit an issue? No, not really. We can elevate as long as we want, and then at some, some time the batteries will be empty. Uh, but uh, the regular flight path is between 300 and 1,000 meters. Okay. And as far as duration of flight? We have at the moment a duration of 35 minutes, which brings us basically in every airport, from every airport into the city center of a, of a metropolitan city. So the major use then is, for instance, is getting somebody from a metropolitan area to an airport and back. This is where we want to start, since airports are used to having vehicles, flying vehicles, and it's a, it's a very good use case, but also recreational use, for instance, in, in resorts or island hopping or something like that would be possible. And one other question. Who came up with the idea of it? I mean, how, I mean did you, were you like shaving one morning and you said, hey, or how, how did that develop? No, actually, two German engineers, a software engineer and a mechanical engineer, met in a block and were discussing what to do to shape up a, a toy drone to make it man-carrying. And then they spent 80,000 euros and, and half a year, and then they had the first helicopter flying. My goodness. Okay, thank you. So uh, take me for a little tour here around the unit. So the concept of, of Volocopter is all about redundancy. So we have 18 motors of which several can fail without bringing the, the vehicle into harm. We have nine batteries. Each battery serves two opposite rotors. Um, we have an optical mesh network uh, which uh, gives information on several directions. We have uh, three times redundant flight control. So this, this whole vehicle is designed to be the safest vehicle in the air. And as far as training for the pilots, what's, what's involved there? Well, actually, uh, you could fly the Volocopter on the spot because basically it's a supercomputer flying and all you need is to take the joystick up and down and give the direction. Okay. Let's just walk around it for a bit and then you can tell me some more about it. Um, the design itself, you said earlier, it's, uh, it, was a, it was a team of engineers. Just run that through me again. So when, when we had the first uh, uh, Volocopter flying in 2011, this was more or less a concept prototype. We started designing a real aircraft. And this is now the third generation of Volocopter. And now the fourth generation will be the one that goes into commercialization in, in two and a half, three years. Uh, can we sit in it for just two minutes, all right? Yeah. I don't know if they can pick this up. We're going to try to sit in this thing. Oh, 
very comfortable. All right. So, um, and you're saying I could, I could, I yeah, could you fly, fly, I could fly this not, thing. Not all right. Because this goes autonomously. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. There's no joystick for you yeah, to fly, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but in reality, it's it's totally easy to fly. Okay. Um, this design feature, obviously, it must have gone through several manifestations. Yeah, basically, yeah. this is this is a, um, a working mule at the moment. So the, all the 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 prototypes we have, um, they have license, they have German certification under the ultralight regime. So they are allowed to participate in, in German air traffic. Um, but the the big target is, of course, to get the ASA certification, commercial certification, so that we can really go and carry passengers. Okay. And you think that whole process will take about how long? So we have agreed on a timetable with the ASA on two years, which is extremely ambitious. So let's let's give them half a half a year more. So we should be ready in two and a half years. Okay. This is fabulous. Listen, I know you're busy. You've got a zillion interviews here. Thank you very very much for your you're time. You're welcome. I hope to see you again soon. Well, I hope to see you up in the air, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> That's it. Cut.